Ladies and gentlemen, I give you a fully, almost fully operational. Ooh, we got one. Ah, it's fully operational on most of them, I think. And it's still coming along, still booting up. Uh, again, it had a little bit of downtime because this one triggered. And of course, if this one goes above 210, it will stop fueling the reactor, which means everything will begin to cool down uh, gradually. This thing produces way more power than is capable of being consumed by the base. So, um, yeah. One reactor, and these are a set of nine each. Nine, eighteen, twenty-seven. There should be twenty-seven generators running around right here. And yes, I have gotten them all. Oh, almost, we're almost at full power. But I have gotten them all at full power with just one reactor. Um, uh, I still have a lot of work to do on this design. This is. Uh, a design that somebody else made but there there's cut off at let's see here 612 and there there's theirs was a row of six now um, I'm not ready to proceed to see if uh, if the uh, if I can make it produce more power uh, if it run more generators but uh, right now and, and right now all the uh, steam uh, except for the liquid the steam itself we're not adding any more water to this reactor and we're not taking any more steam out from this reactor it has satisfied as soon as we come back from a save, I'll show you how I managed to do that. Okay, so this over here, uh, if it goes below 185, uh, it will not let this. Uh, put any water in the reactor whatsoever uh, because if it goes over that then these are gonna turn on to regulate the pressure so this adds pressure basically and this removes it radiation levels in case you're curious, let's find the hottest part of the reactor, and I think it's right there, yeah. 11,680 rads per cycle uh, is what we got going on here. Um, of course, if the reactor eats some steam and puts it down there to be shipped upward to storage tanks of all things um, then that will kick on no wait that will kick on and then start adding water as needed so this is my mad scientist reactor for oxygen not included I tried to do a, uh, a boot up sequence where all these generators were idle and I plan to try to come out with that video about this um, but where all these generators are idle and uh, let's see here where is that oh this little this little friend down here uh, see when it when it's at idle there's 
no feed water from the uh, these three turbines right here, which I'll show you right now. Let's take a closer look at the feed water system. So this feed water system jump, jumps up here <coughs> and goes up here, right? So. But it will only be adding into the pipe um, as needed. You see it goes up here to the regulator. And of course we regulate it. the temperature is at between 1700 and 1800 degrees. Looks like it's peaking at 1900. Which is okay because it's got a lot. It, it's got to be unhappy to run all. It looks like all the generators have came to power actually yes we have a full running set up oh. oh, we have one generator that is getting ready to turn over to a full set of running power I don't know when it's going to do that but it will so and that generator has to be piped all the way down here because it's just too much water I'm producing for one uh, liquid vent but anyway it's almost there but I'm gonna end the video right here because uh, when I do the boot up sequence I'll take you through all the temperatures and all the all the power that the reactor is currently producing. Um, I'll even run it. I'll, I'll, I'll drop a calculation. It'll be a good video, uh, but it's going to take an hour, maybe maybe an hour and a half for all this. To basically, spin up to well, as you see it. We got a full running set all across the board. 850, 850. Because if these are uh, 850, everything in between is going to be 852. So this is a full working like power plant. Epic power plant. And this is toasted. Saying so peace out for right now. And more to come on. I have to design a special like boot up sequence uh, to basically tell the reactor hey this is where you need to be at if you're below this temperature which I, I'll have to do the I'll have to show you all the boot up v video on that but that'll probably be tomorrow I have a busy day ahead of me so, I say peace.